We're always told to drink our water, but how much water do we actually need to drink? Now, most people that work out, it seems that three liters is the magic number, but is it? Me personally, I drink a ton of fluids. Do I drink three liters of actual water? I don't know, I actually don't track that number, but I know that I always start my morning off with one liter of water. After I've done a workout, it's another liter, and then throughout the day, I'll drink another liter, but I'm also drinking my green shake, two protein shakes, a couple teas, and then some EAAs. So how much total fluids am I drinking? I don't know, a ton. But how do I know if I'm hydrated? So today's video, I'm gonna help you to find out what your magic number of fluids is that you should be drinking so that your body is able to recover properly, that your joints have fluid, and that your well-being is overall at all-time high. Now before we go on guys, if you ever need any help with assessing your water levels or you're looking to get more nutrition coaching, go to our website www.fitclub.fit and mention the belly burn. Now what I've done is put some links in the description of this video and there's going to be a pre-assessment chart, okay? It's a Google Drive from my personal folder where I'm giving you access to it and you're gonna be able to view this document and you'll be able to assess where you are. Now what happens if you're drinking too much water? Because that is an actual thing. In fact, I know a couple of years somebody actually died from drinking too much water. Well, you could have an imbalance of electrolytes where your body brain cannot function without the proper sparks that electrolytes provide for your muscles and your brain. And you could obviously feel extremely bloated, you could create some cell swelling, and you could possibly have kidney dysfunction. Now what happens if you're having too little water. Now, most of us have probably experienced some form of dehydration. So imagine if we're overhydrated, if we're underhydrated, what do we experience? Well, fatigue is one of the big ones. The most common one that we report is muscle cramps. And you can get headaches and massive, massive, massive amounts of performance drops. What happens is the fluids work between the muscles. So as the muscles move across one another, they need a nice fluid between the two so that they're not constantly wearing down on one another. When they wear down on one another, it's creating unnecessary damage, which then leads to unnecessary soreness, which could actually lead to an injury. So we always wanna make sure that we're balanced between not too much and not too little. So here's what the chart is going to show you, that if your pee is transparent, and yes, you're gonna to have to look in the toilet bowl to see whether or not you're hydrated or not. So if you're transparent, then that means that you're too hydrated, which could then lead to all of the symptoms we talked about having too much water, such as muscle cramping. If your pee is a lemonade color, well, you found the sweet spot. This is the perfect balance between not too much and not too little. But if you start to get into that light beer color, that light yellow brown, it's still good, but you should consider drinking more. Now, if we're getting into the amber, this is the amber alert, meaning it's you're slightly dehydrated. So we're gonna get into that cramping, we're gonna get into that headaches, you're gonna see the performance drops, but if you're into that dark burnt orange and you haven't taken any supplements, because some supplements do have dyes, so if you haven't taken a supplement that doesn't have an orange coloring on it, this means that you could have some serious problems. So you go all the way from clear to a burnt orange and the sweet spot where you wanna be is between a nice light lemonade and a light beer. So the next time you go pee, you could think of me. No, I'm just kidding. Take a look at your pee, see what color it is, make sure that you're in that lemonade color to assess if you're hydrated and if you're not, make sure you get those fluids in you. In fact, if you are very transparent, I would tell you that you would wanna start adding a little bit of salt to your water and potentially eat a banana. For me, to get the electrolytes, I like to do the EAAs. The EAA brand that I particularly use has electrolytes in it along with the essential amino acids, so it's not only helping my muscles recover, but it's also helping with my electrolyte imbalance. So if you're a burnt orange, you gotta chug up. I don't care where you are, who's watching, and whether you like water or not, you need to drink just plain water because we gotta get you from that burnt orange to that lemonade. Now again, if you need coaching and you need accountability, even if it's just on your water levels, go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, mention the belly burn, and we'll get you started today.